Let's add an appsettings.json file to the SameWorks project. We'll right click on the project, add a new item, scroll to find JavaScript JSON configuration file, call it appsettings.json, all lowercase. Because this file is not part of the build, it doesn't get compiled into the code. We have to tell the build process to copy it into the same directory where the compiled executables exist. We'll do so by right clicking on the app settings file, select properties, change the copy to output directory to copy always. Alternatively, you could select copy if newer, it's your choice. I prefer copy always. We'll clear out the contents of the file and replace the body with connection strings. As you can tell, it's a JSON format. In connection strings, we'll add a default connection. We'll include a value that resembles a valid connection string. Now we'll modify the program.cs file by adding a call to configure app configuration. This will take a function with two parameters, one called context and the other configuration. Using the fat arrow function, we'll fill in the body. We'll start by clearing any configuration settings that are currently in place. Next, we'll add the app settings.json file to the configuration. Set a couple of arguments. We'll set optional to true in case the file doesn't exist. And we'll also set the reload on change to true. This allows you to modify the file while the app is running and reloads the settings automatically. Let's go into the worker.cs file so we can get the connection string from the app settings. Make sure that the default connection is spelled the same way you spelled it in the app settings.json file. We'll log it out to the console using the little string interpolation. Let's run it and see if it works. Shazam! There it is. The connection string just as we have it in the app settings.json file. In the next video, we'll talk about command line arguments. We'll see you there.